Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my girl Alyssa in my chair. You guys seen her maybe once or twice in the past, but she's back today. She usually comes twice a year, every six months. That's how long her color lasts, but now she wants to freshen it up a little bit more before she has a big event coming up in June. So she'll be back in about two months for her full, but we just decided to do a partial, but this is technically between a partial and a half because what I am doing for her because she is a close friend of mine I'm doing a few foils underneath the nape which I usually don't include in the partial I do that in half but I did include it in hers because she wears her hair up so if you're looking to do in between a partial and half this is something I would recommend for placement I've been liking the mohawk a little bit lately as long as the foils are packed in really tight it looks really good so I'm going to do a mohawk placement and I'm also going to be doing two different lighteners I'm going to do a bowl of 20 volume with a 16th ounce of Olaplex and a bowl of 7 volume with a 16th ounce of Olaplex my holy grail blonde me Schwartz cough with Olaplex of course in every lightener bowl I ever use 20 will go on the regrowth that's our level six seven and then the ends i'll just pop those out a little bit with the seven volume When it comes to working underneath the nape area or above the ear in the front when you have a whole bunch of foils packed in tight is to go and use a foiling board. I talk about this in the last few videos. I love this foiling board by Becky Miller. I'll link her once again on the screen. It's Becky M underscore hair. Um, this board is amazing. She had a regular size one and now she has the extra long one. I love both of them. I own both of them. Um, I do love foil me foils. So the foils are usually a little bit wider because they're about six inches wide. The typical average foil is five inches wide. So it was made for the typical average foil, but the extra inch is really not a big deal. I love stacking a few foils on the board and just going on and applying my lightener. As you can see, I get really close to that root. It's very nice, sturdy and tight, and I have no slippage at all whatsoever. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys want me to do a video in detail in depth going over how to do foiling very well how to not get slippage or tiger stripes how to get really tight foils how to do really good consistent foil work if you guys want to see something like that i noticed i never did a real in-depth video breakdown on tips and tricks for when it comes to foiling so if you do want to see that let me know down below in the comment section as I said a moment ago, this underneath is what I include in the half foil in my typical way. I do it at my salon, but because she is a friend, I will throw these 9 to 12 foils underneath for her because she does like to wear her hair up from time to time. So Alyssa likes to be very, very blonde, almost on the verge of platinum. So I do actually pack the foils in back to back, minimal subsections. And we are going to tease and, you know, paint all the dropouts 
of all the foils we are foiling to make sure we brighten her up as much as possible for a partial. And I am using the 20 volume for the teased hair, the dropout subsections because they never get the warmth from the scalp like the baby lights do and they're not on nearly as long. So it's okay to have it a little bit higher of a volume on the ends when it comes to doing the dropouts. So I let her process for about 45 minutes without heat. I like doing that to all of my clients. Never use heat. And I tend not to use really high developer either. So I am going to do a root tap on her. A root tap for me is just about less than an inch. And it's just to basically make everything mend together beautifully. So I'm going to do gold wall colorants, which is one of my favorite lines. And I love using 7N7NA. And I used to use this on her. But with age, some of us tend to get darker. It happened to me just a little earlier in life. So she is becoming a little bit more of a 6-ish. So in between a 6 and 7. So I'm going to do 6N, 7N, 7NA, all equal parts. And I'm going to do just specifically one color all over globally. And that will be Goldwell Colorants 10BS. So you guys, I am going to be doing an in-depth video going over my tap, shadow, and smudge. I did a part two years ago when I was at my old, old salon working for somebody. And it was the way I did it then. And I have tweaked and changed some ways. So I want to do an updated version. So stay tuned for that. Let me know down below if you want to see it. So we're going in and we're just tapping. As you see, I'm just tapping, 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 tapping. Nothing dramatic. Just trying to mend where the beginning of that lightener meets the hair. And this always makes it look like it's growing out of the head beautifully. Blending is key. I always make sure Olaplex number two or a deep conditioning mask or treatment is on the mids and ends as it is here. Combing, combing, combing. And then about five minutes after I let it sit, I will really quickly just slightly tap the hairline. Something I've been doing differently when I want to have more of a pop in that hairline area is as you'll see, I'll tap, tap, tap from behind and I will leave literally the first centimeter or less of that hairline out without tapping it and I'm tapping from behind and I'll still comb through thoroughly but by leaving that little front part out it still allows me to have more of a pop in the front without it being dropped down too much by the tap. I hope that makes sense. Just keep watching. So baby go and start a fight. All right, guys, so I'm going to finish up here at the bowl, tone her globally all over. Once I applied it to the money piece area, I let it sit for a minute, rinsed all that tap out, and then I did the global toner everywhere for about 10 minutes. Look how beautiful the end result came out. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. I hope you learned something here today. Leave video ideas you want to see in the future down below in the comment section. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, so long for now. Mwah!